Well, hello there. Once again, continuing to deliver to develop this one. Okay, so everything's working now, but what I need to do is, because I think it's somewhat clean currently, um, the code, and what I would like to do is to um, update the documentation. So yeah. Um, so now what's going on? Let's see. All right. So first of all, we have the client. Client has a method response to events and it returns a list of events and a JSON here All right. Response to events. In the game client, right? Client. And this is game client. Enter request so event to request and response to events is where exactly? Let me check. So there it is once in twice in this file and once in this file. I'm looking for that. So I need to update the UI. The update UI method. They have this, but let's go one by one. Let's close this one for now and perhaps this one and work with only these two so what do we have here all right um I don't need this, all of this. Okay. So the subject server, let's go inside the server and follow its processes. So receive request. We said we um, replaced with handle connection. So this needs to be updated. And handle connection is a on connection 
method called inside and then in the requests and then send response right so let's fix that So we need receive requests to be replaced by this. I'll just um, have one breakpoint here so I can easily find it here. And I think this is the Nope, I want to send the file. That's the file, that's the file. All right. One time, second time, third time. Right, everything. I want to replace it by handle connection. Okay, so that's fine. Handle connection and inside of the handle connection methods. So those stuff are called. So this is a subgraph already. All right, a subgraph, and inside we have. Uh, what? Um, okay. And what else? Connection and was it the other thing? Swarm connection and then handle request and send response. Request send response. All right. Alrighty then. Is this doubled? Need this. Send response. Yeah, send response is here. Need it here anymore, I believe. Okay. And then need is to call the on connection and then so 
Where is that? This is main. Main. And main should be deleted. Uh, but I will see. So this is main. It can request and what else? Candle connection. Ah, yes, I don't need on the connection on connection handle request send response. All right, so basically, what I need is for this, which goes inside the main. I need it to go. I need to find that. So this is send request and call the request send post call the request. To handle connection. We handle connection, but instead to on what is it? on connection. connection and then from on connection to candle requests candle request So this goes to handle request and then what we need is send response Okay. And this one function goes to this this. And uh, so no connection. No. 
One connection to handle request. Okay, so the handle request and then side the handle request, what do we have? After the handle request, we have send response, but in between. We have Request We have a subscriber. All right, so we're updating subscribers. Okay. What can I do here? Nothing actually. Can update the game server, and I'm updating the game server, and then. When I update the game server, what happens is Process request. Is that so? Yeah. So, process requests. That's right. Process request and inside have something. Request to event and then press event. That's right. So request to event. That's the one. So on connection goes to process to request to event. Connection request to event. All right, and this makes sense. Where is that on connection? Yeah, like this. All right, and after we do 
this first event process event and then it goes back to send response and I can remove what is this handle request to send response right it's okay no. That's totally okay now. Can I delete some stuff? Uh, I can delete main for sure. No, no, just main. All right, so this and this. And shift tab. Yeah, we removed one level and the server can be oh it's a lot of servers here. subject server I want this to be a subject server instead because it's uh, because this is the case so select all the server words and then I have to change the game servers so subject sorry. all right and then where i have game subject server can take all of these and remove the subject word like this Yeah, that's right. That's okay. This is a subject server now. How's it run? On connection. No connection handle request. And then inside the game server. Request to events and creates the events and then it sends the response. Right, it's not as accurate as possible because it creates a list of events. Maybe I can update this later, I don't know. So that's for the server side and then for the client side it's a bit more tricky because we have three threads one main thread and two other additional threads so um send response and when we send a response we don't need the servers anymore we do is this don't need this okay so receive response this is it This is in the thread and the responses. Receive response. All right. Decoded response. Then it's passed to at response. All right. 
and this seems to be okay so i'll collapse, the, collapse these and then what happens is this is passed to the self.responses all right and i just want to update this here this connection all right is this the case yeah so add response to this i want this to be line like this yep that's more like it because yeah uh we dump the response inside the responses so i can also have response here and then else? Uh, define one, define two, define three, four, five, etc. is the order of definition of all the stuff in the in initializer uh, vendor method. Um, and it's basically I I did it like I made it like this because I would like to have a structure of these attributes or operations in a top-down pattern and yeah it seems more structural when it's like this and then in the main client loop in the main client loop which is not really clear um, what triggers the main client loop. So I would like to, to see that yes, and make it clear. So main client loop. We have another occurrence. Okay, so start as I guessed um, so I'll come here and then search for start all right and then um, main client loop cell dot get response. I'll search for cell dot get response. Yeah. Um. So here. I can add hmm. this is the main thread. So basically so dot get response then so dot get response should be in another place as well here so that seems right and here send response okay client and then can client Parts.
So this starts it and then what does stop do? Have I implemented that? Yeah, maybe I'll implement that later. So we start the main loop with the start. And yeah, so so far that's okay. Oh, sorry, that's the point I need it. All right, and main get uh, so self so get response is this one gets a response. Okay, and this is all inside of the main loop. We're getting responses while there are responses, and then we process each response. So process response and process response is calling some stuff from the game client and in particular update UI and then it's intended to have an input but that's not uh, yet defined and then run events to requests to convert the events and and yeah and then add the requests to the output events i would like to i'd like to rename this as well maybe Although this is quite uh, okay as yes, naming, but so I'll put the event. This is not really the request. mainly because it's uh, it returns JSON but I guess that's okay let's rename it to uh, back to add requests and output of, um, sorry underscore underscore requests so this should be here. Events. Let's rename that everywhere to what was it request? Requests. So we already have responses, we need requests and update this everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then we get into the receive thread. No, actually, actually, this is just the definition. But yeah, um, here we are handling the requests. So get request, send request, and it sends it to the server. So I think that's okay for the player, for, for the client. Quite okay, I would say. 
All right. I think this seems okay. Um, maybe I could add some files here and rename these because these are these were supposed to be just test files. But yeah, um, so this could be server. server. Right. And then all this can come here. And I'll close this one, and then we can have a client. Clients. And from the clients, get the content. And paste it into clients. And then I can remove these files, but I would like to check for imports. Right. Hmm. This could be. I can I can send these two files, clients and servers, inside a package, um, or a module rather, actually a package, and uh, and yeah, import them from there because they're supposed to be independent, and currently they are. So we just overwrite stuff inside of them. So, but what would the package be called? What's a proper name for a package that contains uh, base clients and servers? that can be used for game development i hope and um, of course for other uses it can always be networking but that's a bit too simple uh, we need it to be more descriptive Uh, maybe maybe something like this right Is this and then server servers plus this and then I think I can lead all this after I uh, run in the bug. A new setup although i need to add this into a folder so let me add a folder so game that work this one and this one yep. 
So yeah, let's see now. Let's run the server. Let's hope it's okay, fingers crossed. Okay, server is running. And then the plant. I need to be, I expect to be prompted for an email. Okay, so here's take the prompt. All right, I can spam this forever. And in the server logs, I need to confirm that everything is received by this client and so on and so forth. All right, so the structure is okay, or at least seems okay. I hope this will all of this will accommodate our needs. I believe I updated. I updated this, I believe. Yeah. Of course, I, I have updated it. Why isn't it updating? Please. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's okay now. Um, as relationships, that's not really uh, the most descriptive name, but just stuff from launch because these won't work. So current file is okay. Server is okay. This is okay. Actually, this should be okay. Is that right? Let me try that. Game dev, whatever, whatever. I'll start the client, start the server. And this. Uh, yeah, it's not okay. I'll just remove it because the server works. Um, yeah. All right, let's remove these. Tic tac toe server, tic tac toe client. We have these two times. Why do we have these two times? Tic tac client is the same stuff. Server, same stuff. So we can also delete this. All right, and we are left with just these three, from which we also don't need this one because it's for a current file. But let's keep it for now. All right, so I can add all of this, and this is quite a lot of changes. All right, I don't even know how to label it. That's why I uh, made small commits and yeah. Right. Push.
this should all be nice now. I should get rid of those and yeah, I I just hope that I haven't missed anything um, for the documentation updates. All right, that's a huge milestone. Let's see the Chira now. Delete these two. Also, delete these. Right, so this. So take it and I can collapse this. Actually, I can remove it entirely for now. On base package, tails with tails, and this one I can put these inside of a box stuff for a wiki page. This would be nice. But it's good to have them here because if it weren't for GitHub, I'm not sure if we would have access to what's on the wiki pages. Because I know that in Bitbucket um, in some versions there is no wiki page. Um, or at least I've used it wrongly, but yeah, so let's add a folder and label it as docs and everything to here. So maybe even the readme, sure. There's quite a lot here. Can I do that? No, I won't do that. All right, so this change is a commit. All right, so this is the this contains the servers and the clients implementations. Now we are making a game engine or we trying to but this doesn't only um, contain servers and clients but it also contains some other stuff as well so some stuff like physics engines and 
so on and so forth. But I imagine that we will have these um, when we start making games. We'll need them. So this will basically mean that making creating a few games would require some boiler boiler plate stuff and some utility pieces of code. So yeah, um, let's try to develop tic tac toe now. Although we have a a nice milestone and it's something huge so let's we, we can stop here but we can also try to do some stuff as well to start with tic-tac-toe so this is the tic-tac-toe client client So I'm, I have a, a client. Here I have all of them. So when handler is not needed here. So we don't use that for a long time now. We can do. I'm just wondering, maybe we can um, we can merge this stuff into the main branch because we have the game dev networking package because we're in a different branch that's dedicated to tic tac toe. Mm. But not sure I can think of this now. Maybe it's the proper move right now, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I would like to have this game finished and then whatever is common because some stuff might update along the way. So I would like to merge the changes for the common stuff in the master branch when we have the game up and running and yeah that's my idea for now all right so get client client whatever whatever there were some events here that we don't even use anymore So yeah. Okay, to find and server here. I would like to delete this and also this. So I don't need that. Anymore. Tech. So game client, game client needs to um, overwrite response to events, obviously. I go to game clients. Ah, but this is in inside clients, and that's not right. It should be that it should be inside of another uh, another package, but 
we can do that later. Let's see the gyro as me in front of your hand. Yeah, all right. And remember the message. So, update the docs, that's done. CSK Engine. Update server docs, that's also done. Handle exception on connection calls, that's not done. Developer situation of event handler, that's. Uh, I need to delete that. So, I think archive. So, okay, optimize subject server process message for efficiency process message that was process message subject server message server Rest. Uh, maybe it's meant this one. Right. So this needs to stay inside of this package. And also this as well. Okay, this needs to stay as well. And this say game server and it needs to be somewhere else. Alright, so what's the ticket about? Hindu exception connection. Right. Uh subject server process message. Maybe it's process event. All right, we'll delete it for now. Um, for the game server, we need to overwrite it. That will come to play when write the uh, tic-tac-toe server, game server. All right, it's a subscriber. Do we need a subscriber? Yeah, let's say okay. That's okay. A subscriber and what else? Logger is okay. Not needed anymore. Yeah, that's not needed. But let's not remove it right now because we're not changing this file. All right, let's delete that ticket. All right, I make a flowchart of the game interactions. That's okay to do. Add a new method to the client class at requests. Yeah, that's, that's also done. And a lot more than that. Duration of the first iteration through tic-tac-toe. All right, so what do we need basically? What we basically need is um, oh yeah, it crashed, that's great. Uh, 
from all this. Um, so I have to have these stuff. So basically, tic tac toe game clients, which I can take from. Actually, um, so what we'll do is the implant comes from the game dev networking dots plans and then the plants and then and server whatever whatever I don't have this one and so your server adds this um no thanks uh wait is it go by lens see here Alright, we've implemented everything. Uh, so let's uh, let's let pylons take a uh, breath, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we need to have a game server for tic tac toe, and subject server. Which is not required, which doesn't require a change, any change. I remove these events and requests and the whole event handler for now. Right. I can remove. This game server takes game server takes doesn't have an init method. All right, subscribe. A new server. It doesn't need, need an initializer. Right, that's okay. Send gate. Let's remove actually everything and it's just authenticate all right um what can we do now we have the dictionary of players it can be uh 
Uh, this can be union between literal example. I can import this. And the and that's okay. And this should always be literal X and literal. Always. Strictly, then player should be union to neutral x neutral. All right, and that's I think okay for now. What else do we need? Hmm. Have the players. We need the logic buttons. Uh, let's first establish a connection. Okay. Let's try that. So. Um. Game server. Does this need a game server? I believe so, not sure. No. No, it doesn't. So the client requires a game client. Um, was it inside of here? Let's just copy this. Um, I don't need this title. This should work, it should already work. Uh, actually, not really. Uh, the game client is this. The client is this. Quests. Right, right. And then the server. The server must be in another file, which can be, of course, this one. Right, so. I can run this server and then connect with the detectable lines to this server. Actually, yeah, I think. Is that okay? No, that's not okay. Yeah, I think it's okay actually. I can set send echo. Again. Body, but do, do I need body? Is this the way? 
This is request to event. Request to event. Yeah, that's right. Oh, right. And yeah, I think that's okay. Process event. Okay. Good that we have the dog strings here. So what we'll basically need to do is to update these two methods. So the game server processes every response of ours and yeah Right. Now if I run the server. Server running. Server. Service running. And then I want to have in this echo request and I need to add a book setup. Or the client. It's okay. Run. Subject server, game server. I, of course. All right. I've sent the soup, but it uh, crashed. And the code is request method was in it on connection yeah of course it needs to be a in it so my first one and two and one and two and I'm stopping my serve my client 
We're running the server. Yeah. Running the client again. Oops, that's I thought I typed two here. Alright. That's nice. It's nice. And nothing crushed. So let's stop the client. We run the server. And we run the client with these requests. So it sends echo twice. Why is that? I am not sure. Actually, it no, it sends in it once and then sends the echo once and then receives the echo once. So that's okay. Same thing on the server. So receive in it, receive echo, send echo. That's great. That's great. Um, I think we can wrap it up here. And yeah. We can continue next time. We have uh, actually started to work on the game. On the networking of the game, of course, not logic. But yeah, we've implemented some custom classes, uh, which inherits our base classes. And we are able to establish a connection and pass to the server some requests and receive the responses of the server. And that's okay. Next time we'll be looking into I guess the logic of the game and then also for the sequence of requests that the game requires to the game logic requires and also I guess we need to look into server side or the game server and how the game server handles the requests from the client and how it generates the responses so that's okay but uh, the good thing is uh, we don't need to think for the networking anymore for now at least until there is an issue with it but it seems to be working flawlessly for now and that's great news because we can only use for now we don't need to fix anything. All right. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.